Could an AI successfully escape the most dangerous Minecraft server on the planet? That's a question that we can actually figure out the answer to. Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? Guess again. It's no secret that the oldest anarchy server in Minecraft attracts some of the most toxic players in the game, but it also attracts some of the brightest minds that use it as a testing ground for their programs, experiments, clients, and other creations. For about the past year, a few select players have been experimenting with automation and machine learning on 2v2t, and the results are spectacular. Players turning their Minecraft accounts into robots. Robots that can play the game and use on-the-fly adaptations to survive. Robots that can play the game better than a human can in some cases. In my three years here on YouTube, I've never done a 2B2T video like this before. So, let's get started. The closest we can actually get to AI or machine learning in Minecraft is a project called Baritone. The Baritone project is led by 2B2T player Vijur, and several notable players on the server have contributed code to the project as well. Baritone is a program that automates actions in Minecraft so that the player doesn't have to do them. The key difference here that separates it from a typical botting program is that it uses on-the-fly adaptations to figure out the best way to accomplish a specific task. You simply give the program a task and it will do its best to accomplish it. The first thing it will do is pathfind a way to its objective. Should the terrain change or become hostile or impassable, the program will adapt and reroute. Take a look at this footage here. In this demonstration, Baritone will be attempting a spawn escape in the nether. As you can see, that green pillar represents the destination, and it's already visually pathfinding its way to that destination. It's automatically using a combination of parkour, of bridging, of mining, and of eating to get there unharmed. It's constantly changing its path on the fly if necessary. I mean, look at that. It's bridging on its own. It's finding its way so efficiently, there's no way a human player could find a path this easily and with such great ease. I mean, it even knows to go over here and mine out these two blocks and then go right to a tunnel. It would take a human player much longer having to go through free cam just to find these routes. I mean, it's actually kind of scary how good Baritone is at getting to these locations. I mean, look at that. It's pathfinding on the fly. Here we go, it's reaching its destination as you can see. It gets to its destination, and then right here is just wizardry. Look at that! Look at that movement! That is not a human movement. There's no way. Look how quick and easy that was for the bot. But, it has reached its destination and now it is stopped. For kicks, they also added the functionality to build structures automatically. Seen here is Thebes and Sound. 2B2T's greatest civil engineer, building a replica of the famous Jesus statue on the server using only a single command in Baritone. Just like before, Baritone will automatically look for the most efficient way to complete the structure and do its best to take zero damage. Baritone will also automate tasks such as mining diamonds, smelting ores, and other mundane tasks. But enough about what Baritone can do. Let's get back to the topic at hand. Could an AI escape 2B2T spawn? Well, it just so happens that some 2B2T players performed an experiment with this exact question in mind. In April, 2B2T players Iron Exception and Donkey What collaborated on a project. They wanted to visually track the ways that players could escape spawn. They decided to equip bot accounts with Baritone and have them attempt to escape spawn on their own, without human assistance. In the experiment, the goal was to get a bot to around 2,200 blocks away from 00, as this distance is considered temporary safety, and it's easier to find resources at this range. They decided that the bots would attempt 1,000 spawn escapes before ending the experiment. 
Some bots would be actively trying to escape at the same time. It would take well over a month to gather data on all of the escapes. And after a thousand attempts, the results came in. And the bots, using Baritone, had a 34% success rate of escaping spawn, which is actually much lower than anticipated. But here comes the fascinating part. All the escape attempts were visually graphed, and I'm about to show it to you right now. Now take a look at this. This is all the visual data from the spawn escapes that the bots did using Baritone. Shout out to Iron Exception and Donkey What for giving me access to this visual data. I mean, just look at this. It's beautiful. I mean, to see a screenshot of this graph was one thing, but to actually like be able to interact with it like this is something else entirely. We can see every single path that the bots took in their attempted escapes. And here's a few things that I've noticed just by looking at the data. First of all, we can easily see some classic structures near spawn. I mean, this yellow square here, this is the obsidian sky at zero, zero. And if you look closely down here, you can see some of the massive lava casts that the bots got stuck on for a little bit. And then out here, you can actually see the outline slightly of the great spawn wall way out here. It's just fascinating. Now, you're probably wondering what the colors mean. Well, it all depends on what height the bots escaped at. Yellow means that they were at sky or build limit. And then blue down here means it was a bedrock escape. Now there were quite a few escape attempts at bedrock, but there were a decent amount also here at sea level, which is recognized with purple, or that's uh, shown with purple, I should say. But anyway, it's crazy to see that, first of all, not all of the bots stuck to the highways like humans. It looks like they did branch out in random directions to try and escape. So if you see out in here, if you see a line that gets to here, it means it was a successful escape and even out here as well. If they didn't get to around this radius here, then it was not considered a success. What's, what's really interesting is that for some reason, the bots were not able to escape in this direction or in this direction. Makes me wonder why. Those must be some really dangerous areas of spawn. But look at that, a 34% success rate, but it shows you that yes, a machine can escape spawn on its own. And it looks like they did a better job than humans in some cases. I mean, this is truly impressive on a technical level that this experiment was even done. I mean, 1,000 attempts. And all of it was visually data, like charted. It just, ugh. My caveman brain can't even comprehend this whole thing. So overall, could an AI escape spawn? Well, the answer is yes, but now this opens up so many other possibilities and philosophical questions. The technology and code behind Baritone is so good that it's curiously unsettling. What happens when these bot accounts become capable of PvP? With ruthless aggression showing no fear like a human would. What if conflicts on 2B2T in the future are not fought by people, but by machines? Imagine factions having baritone-controlled accounts gathering resources for them, hunting for nether portals off the highways, and even fighting on the front lines. Baritone has opened up so many possibilities in both Minecraft and 2B2T's meta. It's very interesting to think about. Baritone is open source, and I've put the link to the GitHub in the description of this video. As the project is worked on more and more, it's only a matter of time before these automated accounts are playing the game better than a human could. Baritone has proven that machines that can adapt on the fly are absolutely capable of escaping the notorious 2v2t spawn. As long as these machines don't start thinking or learning how to PvP, I think we'll be okay. But could machines rule 2v2t someday? It's fun to think about, but who knows if it'll become a reality. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like the video, and also don't forget to subscribe for more 2B2T content. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter to stay updated on when new 2B2T content is coming out, as well as my streaming schedule. That's it for today's video, everyone. Take it easy, 
and we'll see you next time. Stay alive out there, FitFam. Resist the machines.